Hey guys, Chris here with a quick video on the Eddie Guerrero Signature Series Undisputed V2 replica from WWE Shop. Um, this is a really cool belt that I picked up recently, um, and it came on this um, Eddie Guerrero uh, tribute strap, which is a really cool showpiece. Um, the front of the belt is uh, a tribute to Eddie's ring gear that he wore back in 2004 at No Way Out when he was the underdog against uh, Brock Lesnar, and he won the Undisputed Championship. Now, that was a different uh, belt. It was the V4, whereas this is the uh, much bigger V2. But um, at the same time, I still think this is an amazing belt. Um, it's a really, really cool uh, tribute to Eddie, as you can see, with the lie, cheat, and steal in one uh, snap box, or where a snap box would be if this was a simulated tooled strap. And then on the other side, you've got uh, Latino Heat on the other side. Uh, so it's a really cool tribute. I think it's actually really well done. Uh, it's very Eddie. I mean, that's, you know, the first thing I think of when I see this, but even without all this is you think, oh, Eddie Guerrero, that's his ring gear. And then on the other side, I've uh, got the flames, which I believe were the boots that he wore that day. Uh, the same design. So uh, really well done. I think WWE Shop did well with it the only thing i don't like myself is the um the fact that one it's a v2 <laughs> yeah the much bigger belt but that's fine um but also i, I really enjoy having even if it's a simulated strap I, I like it when they mimic a snap box or mimic camouflage tooling or beveling um whereas this kind of misses that but i mean with this pattern i'm not sure it would work anyway in combination with those things but uh the straps really cool the plates are amazing um, you can see some of the detail there. Just incredible. This is one of the belts that um, actually preceded the regular black uh, Undisputed V2 belt. So a lot of people actually hopped on this one and then just re-leathered it, uh, re it straight away. But uh, yeah, just a really, really cool strap. So as much as I absolutely love the signature strap, uh, the tribute to Eddie Guerrero. Um, my intention was to re-leather this belt. Um, and there are a few people who uh, really do well uh, re-leathering this belt. Uh, there's quite a few crafters in the hobby and there's quite a few that uh, do a really nice undisputed uh, version too. However, uh, there's one crafter who absolutely specializes in it and just nails it every time. And that is uh, Figure 4 Championship Belts or Alvin, Alvin Paul Saffler. Uh, he does an amazing job, so um, I reached out to him and organized a send-out strap. Now, the reason I like a send-out strap, uh, one is the convenience, so you hang on to your belt while the strap is being crafted, uh, and Alvin does a terrific job keeping you updated and uh, letting you know where he's at. And the other reason is uh, you can restone the belt at your own convenience or pace. So as you can see, this belt still has the stock stones that... It comes with from WWE Shop. And with a send out strap, uh, you can still put it on real leather and restone that later because you can just unscrew it from the back. Whereas if you were to get a, a full real leather first, unfortunately that would be end game for the stones uh, unless you re leathered it again. So um, it gives you that you know option to do that later on. Um, so I've uh, reached out to Alvin to get a strap crafted, and that arrived today. So let's have a quick look. And would you look at that. Beautiful solid black color. Uh, that is a water-based dye. So that will um, sink deeper into the leather. It will give you a deeper solid shade, which is great. There we got his signature there. Beautiful. Uh, these snap boxes are hand tooled rather than uh, JMR's press plate that he used on the ring accurate versions. I much prefer this because it's just much more of a crafter's touch. Um, so I think he's done a great job there. You've got the JMR stamp, the WWE champion stamp that runs along the border of the whole strap and beautifully beveled. Look at that. Fantastic. Um, 
Now you'll notice that both snap boxes are the 2x5, which is what Eddie had when he won the championship, which is great. Um, I asked Alvin to do that and he said, absolutely no problem. So that's fantastic. It gives a good symmetry to the belt. I don't know if you can zoom out a bit, but it gives it a really nice symmetry. Uh, having both ends 2x5. And the edge. Edge is fantastic. Look at that. That is how an edge is supposed to feel. Uh, edges are really, really uh, important on belts. Uh, and some people perhaps don't pay as much attention to them as I do, but I absolutely love uh, a good edge. And when it's been blended with the backing uh, really well, which Alvin's done a, a fantastic job on, uh, it makes a really big difference. You can uh, feel it every time you pick up the belt. So wonderfully done. Uh, but there's a nice finish on the belt as well. You can see that in the light. Excellent job. And wow. This has got a good flop factor as well. Let's have a look at the backing. Excellent. So uh, quite often you'll you'll get different choices for backing. Uh, when you um, reach out to a leather crafter, they may, may offer you uh, some exotic leather like croc or snake. Um, sometimes you get different textures on your backing as well. And uh, Alvin ran this one past me and said, do it. It looks great. Um, so that's fantastic. Anyway, let's pop these plates on and see how the belt looks. Um, unscrewing the plates, you can really see uh, how curved this main plate is. Um, I've talked about the curve on WWE shop plates before, and not all of them have it. So it's quite pleasing to see that this has got such a substantial curve. I do have a curving uh, video coming up shortly where you can uh, obtain a curve on some WWE shop belts. Um, so I will get into that on another video, but in the meantime, I feel like this is a, a really nice pleasing curve and you probably see it on the back a little bit better as well. Yeah. I don't know what the SX is on the back of the belt. Sex? Six? Socks? I don't know. But anyway, um, that's a really cool little curve on the main plate and, um, the detail on the plates, again, just incredible. You will notice on um, some unauthorized sort of bootleg copies of these belts, if they're in SD, um, you will notice that this text here gets washed out uh, nine times out of ten. So uh, with this particular belt, um, I think your best choice really is a, a replica from the shop. Um, they do a, a really good job with this belt. Anyway, let's get this strap on. Okay, here we are. Uh, the plates are all screwed in. Um, all the holes were perfectly aligned, so um, that's a really big deal. I've had a send out strap before where uh, sometimes the holes need to be widened or sometimes they're just a little bit off center of the post, whereas this one was perfectly done. So uh, tremendous job, Alvin, there. All right, I think it's time to flip this over and give it a good look. Oh, baby, that looks fantastic. Now you will notice that the uh, property plate is now missing from the belt, which is this guy. Um, and that is for ring accuracy. So this particular version uh, that Eddie held uh, had no property plate. So that is Alvin keeping it real. Um, so it actually looks a bit more symmetrical without it anyway. Uh, two plates on either side, I think it's actually uh, a really good symmetrical uh, balance so uh, fantastic and in comparison to this thing um, 
I mean, as nice as it looks aesthetically, perhaps on a shelf, um, and I will touch on that because this particular strap, uh, because of the size of the main plate, unfortunately, the strap doesn't really fit that well on a shelf in a Detolf anyway. So, um, not only that, but it's just a very, very stiff old thing. Uh, whereas this is just, just like butter. Look at that. Fantastic. Anyway, um, I don't have too much more to add for this one. I think it's an absolutely uh, gorgeous belt. Um, so I'd highly recommend one from WWE shop over uh, a boot or a bootleg copy um, because the detail is just phenomenal. Um, and I'd also highly reckon, recommend uh, figure four or Alvin Saffler for his leather work. It's just amazing. Um, price and turnaround time was great and communication spot on too. So um, I do have some more videos coming up shortly. Um, I'm trying to do um, as many as I can. Um, I don't have as much time to spend on videos as, as I used to, which is why I don't sort of appear in front of the camera as much anymore. Um, but I'd rather do some videos than no videos. So um, I'll keep you guys tuned and um, be coming up with some more shortly. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Cheers.